Hey everyone, it's me, Alex. I'm just coming in to give you guys an update. It's been a while, roughly about a year. It's my last update, so I want to come in, fill you in on the latest, give you the new juicy details. So stick around. You're going to catch all that next. Alright guys, so I'm here to give you an update. It's been a year. Uh, a lot of things have changed. So to start off, uh, uh, the first half of the year was fucking hell. Fucking hell. Garbage. Garbage. Absolutely garbage. Uh, for me, technically, I'm not, not technically, but for me, the year did not start until uh, about early July. I would say like that's, that's when the year finally started to, uh, to have an outlook that was not trash, give or take. Um, but yeah, it's been a year since the last update, so I wanted to just fill you guys in on everything that's been going on. So we'll start off um, in April where I think I told you guys that I had a consultation for top surgery. Uh, so I went to that. Things went good. Um, we were able to uh, get things going with insurance. Um, and I think, yeah, so we got things going with insurance. By, <sighs> sorry, by my birthday. So the end of May, um, I had been approved by insurance. And we were able to set a date for October 8th of this year. Uh, so we had that all squared away. It was something I look forward to for the summer uh, for sure. Um, so July came around and I met and fell in love with the love of my life. Who I'm with now. We are going to be celebrating our five months uh, tomorrow, actually. December 20th will be our five months. Um... But yes, I f fell in love with the guy, and uh, things have been going great. Um, and I've actually proposed we are going to get married probably within the next year. Um, so yeah, things are looking great in that aspect for sure. Um, <clears throat> but I had a roller coaster with surgery. I'm sorry, it seems like I'm jumping around. I'm just trying to go throughout my year, I guess, uh, in, in order. Um, but, so, September comes around, early September, and I get a call from my surgeon saying that the surgeon is not going to be in the office on the 8th of October, so they needed to reschedule. Um, so, like, I'm upset about this, obviously. I'm thinking it's going to be rescheduled far out in advance, like, to now, December, January-ish, maybe. Um, but they were actually able to get me in and reschedule me for September 25th. So, a few weeks er earlier, and, uh, you know, I was excited. Fantastic. Like, I was only two weeks down until surgery instead of four, or whatever it was, you know. So, I was, I was pretty excited, pretty stoked. Um, I arrive at the surgical center on the morning of September 25th, uh, was put into the pre-op room. I had my IV put in, I was all kinds of excited, everything was going perfect, um, until about 15 minutes after my set surgery time, when the nurses came in to inform me that the surgeon was not feeling well and was canceling the rest of his surgeries for the day. You can imagine that my depression and my emotions, uh, tanked, real quick. Um... You know, something that I had been waiting for and working towards uh, for all this time. To have it literally in my grasp before being yanked out uh, was tough. It was rough, uh, for sure. Um, I did take a mental hit. Uh, but I, I rebounded, and I think a big, big part of that was because they were able to reschedule me actually so quick. For the surgery <clears throat> so i got my final date for post or for surgery for october 3rd um so it was before uh the original date but obviously i had to wait another week um after getting my hopes up basically so i am post-op um let me just show you real quick i did end up having the surgery everything went well with the third date, thankfully. So these are my scars. Now it's about two and a half months post-op. Everything is looking and feeling pretty good. 
I did have an issue with a hematoma on this side um, because the day after my surgery I actually fainted and fell uh, landing mostly on this side so I did have an issue with healing on this side a little bit um, it did postpone recovery about a week week and a half but for the most part everything went fairly smoothly um, no complaints there uh, so that's <clears throat> the biggest probably uh, announcement of this uh, video uh, the other one being uh, it is now mid-December 2018 meaning I am now officially two years on T um, in terms of changes I haven't really noticed much over the past year except for the fact that my beard is coming in a little bit more um, you can't it's not obviously a thick full bushy beard uh, but there is a lot more than I had last year. Last year at this time, I think I was still highlighting with mascara to get it to show up because it was still so thin and light. <clears throat> but now, now you can actually see it without it being. So it is coming in. It's still fine, kind of fine, uh, fine and thin uh, in here, um, mostly on the sides. I am getting the thicker, coarser hair starting to grow in here. It's long enough. I can pull it. I don't know if you can see that. So it is coming in. Very slowly but surely, it's taking its sweet ass time, but it is coming. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think my voice has dropped anymore. It could. I don't. I can't really tell now even because I am in the process of getting sick. Um, so I don't know if my voice is deep now because of that's how it usually is. It does sound a little bit deeper than it usually is. So I am starting to get sick for sure. Uh, but it is normally this deep does that make sense like it's deeper than it usually is but it's not that much deeper anyway it doesn't matter but so f yeah for the most part that's it that's it in terms of updates so i wanted to give you guys an update because like i said it has been a year it's been a long time and i wanted to do this for sure to document both my two years on t and the fact that i did finally have top surgery um so yeah here's your guys's update hope you enjoyed catch you next time peace